My name is Vijay Iyer. I play piano and I write music and I perform and compose, improvise, lead groups, play solo. And I'm really fortunate to get to play tonight at Castle Clinton here in Battery Park, New York City, where the sextet featuring some of my favorite musicians. I'm playing with the trio, which I've been working with a lot over the last couple of years. Marcus Gilmore being the drummer in the group, and Stefan Crump being the bassist. We made an album as a trio called Historicity. It came out in 2009, and it got a lot of nice responses from the critics, and it got a Grammy nomination, and so that enabled us to tour kind of constantly for the last just about two years. It's been really good for me as an improviser to deal with that kind of format because it's really open and very elastic and very spontaneous. Tonight was a, an occasion for me to kind of write on a sort of larger canvas. It also gave me a, a chance to bring in some other improvisers who I really admire. The alto saxophonist Rudresh Mahantapa, he and I have been working together since the mid-90s. And we have a duo together, and we used to also play in a quartet format. You know, we've played thousands of concerts together, <laughs> so we have this real uh, strong bond and a sort of nice sense of trust. And he's one of the greatest saxophonists alive today. And he's also Indian American, like me. He's sort of like family to me. The tenor saxophonist Mark Shim is one of the, to me, he's one of my favorite tenor saxophonists. He's a really incredible virtuoso improviser, and he's also a great composer. And he has a lot of dexterity and a lot of precision, and also has a lot of character in his style. It's very grounded in the tradition of the music. He's toured with some of the great jazz legends like Elvin Jones and Betty Carter. To me, he's one of the best saxophonists of my generation. The third horn is Graham Haynes, who's a living legend. <laughs> he's a, he plays cornet and flugelhorn, and he also does stuff with electronics. And he's also a composer and band leader, and uh, he's made some of my favorite music from the last 20 years. So we're doing a bunch of stuff that's a little bit challenging for me and for everybody else, for the ensemble. Some of it dates back to um, years together that we've done, you know, different ensembles uh, that I've kind of repurposed, material I've repurposed for this format. And other stuff is brand new that's never been performed before, and we'll see how it goes. And we're uh, praying that it doesn't rain until 9 o'clock. <laughs>